undisclosed location somewhere in North America, this is your weekly Truth Be Told Minuteman report. Hey everyone, it's Robert Hensley, your Truth Be Told Minuteman, and today we're going to be talking about the Dresden Codex. Now, the Dresden Codex is a Mayan book, uh, which was believed to be the oldest surviving book from the Americas, written in the Americas, uh, dated to the 11th or 12th century. Now, the Dresden Codex um, is... Um, we say it's a book, but it's more kind of like um, a long uh, pamphlet. Uh, the codis is made of fig bark paper that's been treated on both sides with um, a clay paste. Uh, and then it's folded like an accordion. And then there were covers. So the covers were actually made of jaguar skin. And um, this particular codex... Um, which is one of many different codices that have been found throughout the years, consists of 39 leaves inscribed on both sides. They're approximately 11 feet long. The um, codex uh, contains mathematical formulas and calculations that the Maya used to keep track of uh, events uh, in their calendar, how they coincided with the movement of the planet Venus in particular. Um, so uh, this codex, people aren't really sure at what point <laughs> it uh, made its way to Europe. People do know that it had, um, they believe that uh, Spanish conqueror had sent it back to uh, Spain as a gift for the king, um, and then it kind of disappears um, in history, and then it surfaces again during World well, yeah, during World War II after the bombing of Dresden. It's found in a flooded basement. Several of the pages were damaged um, and then later reconstructed um, or recovered, um, and so it now belongs in the uh, Museum of Dresden. Now, again, this was thought to be the oldest remaining book or surviving book from the Americas. Um, that is until 2018. <laughs> in 2018, it was uh, proven that the Maya Codex of Mexico, which was called the Grolier Codex, is actually older than the Dresden Codex by more than a century. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> well, that's our little tidbit for today. Hope you have an incredible week. Thanks for listening to Truth Be Told Minuteman Report. Uh, I will be on the road traveling the countryside, finding new stories, uh, meeting new people, and uh, hopefully coming up with some amazing new content for the Minuteman Report. Um, but until then, remember there are three opportunities every week for new content. Uh, not just me on Mondays, but you've got uh, Bonnie Burkert with Truth Be Told Transformations on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern, and of course Tony Sweet on Fridays with the original turn, uh, with the original Truth Be Told at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. And uh, yeah, if you have your story ideas. Uh, comments, concerns, please feel free to email me. Uh, I can be reached at reportminuteman at gmail.com. And until next time, stay true.